How to beat the narcissist at their own game. How to overcome the narcissist. How to outsmart them. How to protect and defend yourself. Narcissists can be very aggressive and argumentative. They are ready and eager to argue or fight. They are characterized by conflict and opposition. They have to resist your actions or arguments. They have to compete with you. Even without you doing anything to provoke them. It doesn't require any input or action from you. They get triggered on their own. They get startled. They become angry or excited. It's like they're provoking themselves into something. Like they're their own worst enemies. And this is another part of the illusion. Because they want to make you think that you are the cause of their behavior. When in actuality, they could behave this way without any stimulation from you. But they want you to think that you're at fault. They want you to think that you have something to prove. Because that keeps you fighting. That keeps you feeding into it in an attempt to protect and defend yourself. But what you're really doing is you're just sinking deeper and deeper into their pit of misery and destruction. When you realize that the narcissist is deliberately committed and designed to cause some problems for you, you may want to know how to beat them at their own game so that you can protect and defend yourself. But you do not beat the narcissist at their own game. You do not fight fire with fire. You do not use similar methods that they are using because you're just going to be wasting your time. You cannot outdo them in their game of control because to even try to do that, you would be operating from within their world. You would still be in their illusion and you cannot control anything from within the illusion that they have created. They brought it into existence. They are the directors of it. As long as you are within their illusion, they're going to tell you how to play your part. You cannot manage or control them because they're trying to manage and control you. But if you're not aware of the illusion and you're trying to manipulate them, you're just hurting yourself. You're pulling yourself down. You're sinking deeper and deeper into their mud, which is exactly what they want you to do. Because it then gives them greater influence and control over you. And they will enjoy it. It will give them pleasure and satisfaction. Especially if you don't realize that it's still a part of the illusion. It's a part of the argument or fight. It's a part of the antagonistic nature. To beat the narcissist at their own game, you don't fight them. You don't try to beat them. Let them continue playing their game. Let them fall deeper and deeper into their own pit. 
while you outgrow them, while you stop having an interest in them as you develop and mature until you become something that they can no longer control. Because it would then put them at a disadvantage by even trying to control you. It would require too much of their time and resources. There are people out there that narcissists do not want to deal with. People they won't have anything to do with. And it's not because those people are narcissists as well. It's because it's too much effort for the narcissist to even try to manipulate and control them. They already know that they're not going to put up with their behavior. They're not going to tolerate it. So there's really nothing that the narcissist can do. They just have to accept it. They just have to deal with it. Even though they wish they could conquer those people, they wish they could overcome and take control of them. But narcissists are cowards. They lack the courage to endure dangerous or unpleasant things. They run from danger. They just take what they can get. They exploit immediate opportunities, regardless of planning or principle. They're not really trying to control everything. They would like to, but they'd rather go for whatever they think is going to be easy to obtain, achieve or take advantage of. They're very cheap people. They achieve things in a discreditable way that requires little effort. They want whatever they can get and they will take whatever they can get while acting like it's not really what they're doing when really it is exactly what they're doing. They do not choose carefully. They choose based on whatever they think will offer the least amount of backlash, whatever they think will offer the least amount of risk of danger or harm to themselves. Which is why you're not going to be able to beat them at their own game. You're not going to be able to beat them from within their own system. Because their system has limitations and restrictions. They don't even have the resources that will help you to succeed. So that's never going to happen. Instead you need to create your own system. You need to create your own world. They cannot go near the real world because the real world has to continue operating. It has to remain in working order so that it can continue to be impractical and useful. Which is why they just try to remove you from it. They try to bring you into their world because they already know that they cannot stop the real world from functioning. All they can do is bring you into their realm. Narcissists have a lot of weaknesses. So there are plenty of ways for you to manipulate them. They are very weak. They are everything that is weak about people. They are the weakest kind of people. Which then results in their immoral and wicked behavior. But then they're also underdeveloped. They're like emotionally immature children. So it's not morally correct to go after them in that way. And even if you could manipulate them into a system of control, you're not going to achieve anything. You would just become more like them when you're not like them. 
you're not a narcissist. So it's not going to fulfill anything for you. And it wouldn't count as beating them. Because you'd still be a part of the system of control. Trying to beat the narcissist at their own game is not the right thing to do. Instead, you can succeed in dealing with this problem by becoming something greater. You don't have to compete with them. Compete with yourself. Become a better version of yourself. Become successful. Even while you may be dealing with something unpleasant or difficult. Despite anything that may be wrong. You continue doing what you're doing. Until you become better at it. Until you are valued by other people. Until you become something great. In a way that means something to you. You improve yourself. Don't get caught up in what the narcissist is doing. Do what you think is right. Focus on your own vision. Instead of focusing on how they see things. Disengage from their mess. They like control. That's their way of life. They're going to do that until the day they die. You can't do anything about that. And you shouldn't try to. That's their problem. It's something that they are responsible for. You need to focus on what you can control. Focus on your responsibility for yourself and the people that you can help. People that are open to input and suggestion because that's where your power is. You have power in those situations. But with the narcissist, you're always going to feel weak. You're always going to feel like you're deficient in something. You're going to feel powerless and helpless. The best way for you to protect and defend yourself is to put your attention elsewhere. Focus on something which can be valuable and useful to you. Something that will build you up rather than breaking you down. Fighting with the narcissist is just a waste of time and nothing good will ever come out of it. The hardest thing for people to accept is that you really can't do anything about it. It's not your problem to fix and you just have to let it go. See it as a lost cause. Take away all of your hopes and expectations. In a normal situation, if you do better, things will get better. But with narcissists, the better you do, the worse they become. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.